104.5 XLO, we are live in the Clinton Savings Bank studio with our good friend, Peterman, general manager of the Worcester Bravehearts. Hi, Peterman. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Everybody wants a piece of Peterman. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Right. Frank, remember that? Remember that? Yes. Dave used to work on the program with Jen and I. Frank, I would even hesitate. I would actually, I wouldn't hesitate to say that you're the man who launched my career. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about me over here? <laughs> oh, Jen, I forgot you work there too. Yeah. I forgot about that. That's my fault. That's fine. Wow. Hey, we are so excited. People have been dying for some kind of athletic competition, and you're going to deliver it to them. Well, that's what we hope. We announced yesterday that we're ready, and there's a schedule. The Futures League is going to start baseball on July 2nd and run through uh, August 19th this year. So seven weeks, a little abbreviated, but we we hope to bring some smiles to the people of central Massachusetts. Well, people, if you're not familiar with it, the Brave Hearts are the defending champs, by the way, of the Futures League, which are college players. Frank, and I know you had a nephew that played in our league. It's all college students. And, um, you know, the reason we were able to put this together is because many of the students come from Massachusetts. And local state so they've been living under the same quarantine orders that we all have since mid-march so we hope that uh that's going to really help to make sure that all these players are safe and then our fans are safe as well so tell us about that fan experience um when people come out to the games what can they expect well certainly there's going to be some new safety precautions in place much like when you go to a grocery store but you are going to be required to wear a mask for entry, and then one of our staff members will bring you down to your seat. Now, it's going to be completely general admission this year because we just feel like with physical distancing, we're not going to be able to reserve a whole bunch of seats. So you come in with your family, whether it's two people, four people, eight people, somebody will escort you down to your seats, and we will physically tape off the seats around you uh, six feet diameter in every single direction so that there's uh, pl- appropriate physical distancing when you're sitting down. Now, will the size of the fan determine how big that <laughs> circle will be? Because I'm thinking, if I'm sitting in a seat as opposed to, I don't know, a four-year-old. Bring some more tape. You might need some more tape. <laughs> I think I might have to look into how the airlines do it. Right? <laughs> I want to study another industry. <laughs> now, what about Food, Peterman, will you guys be, you have great concessions at the Bravehearts. Uh, will people be able to get their hot dog or nachos? Yeah, concessions will be open. They're going to look a little different, and we're trying to minimize the number of common surfaces that are touched by people. So, you know, rather than having the ketchup and the mustard and the relish dispensers at the end of the concessions line, everything's going to be prepackaged this year, which means that we'll have to put the individual packets in with the hot dog. Now, not that I'm a not a fan of food, but will there be beer? <laughs> I was oh, waiting for that. Oh, I knew, I knew I forgot <laughs> something. I should probably check into that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I, I, we're, we're still working on that. I do believe that'll be the case. However, you know, just like the prepackaged food, I think we'd probably go into a, uh, probably go towards a model by which the cans of beer are available, but not the draft beer, because in, in a draft system, you're pushing, the, you're pulling yeah, that oh draft yeah. every, every time, you know? Well, yep. whatever you guys have to do, um, we are very excited about the Worcester Bravehearts coming back this season. I mean, like you said, an abbreviated season, but it's still baseball, Peterman. It is abbreviated. We just want to bring some smiles to the people of central Massachusetts. It might look a little different this year, but what doesn't look different in 2020, huh? True. I look different. I've gained about 19 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, leave it to you. Oh. <laughs> Dave, thank you. We appreciate it. Go Bravehearts. All right. Take care. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.